This review has been approved by Lord Carnage. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never ending mission to review everything. I've got the edge. Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of Skylanders Trap Team, now with evilized Traptanium technology. Capturing evil, unleashing your dollars. This place is totally cursed. The locals call it the poisonous swamp of bad decisions. Everyone who comes here apparently is doomed to make horrible choices. Really? That sounds like any Friday night in college. Activision's popular Skylanders series returns with Skylanders Trap Team. And it feels like they're running out of ideas, but the ideas they do come up with are consistent and fairly enjoyable if you like the Skylanders series. It's pretty much business as usual. Around here, evil has somehow managed to infiltrate Skylands or New Jersey or whatever. New, New Jersey. Jersey! And you collect Skylanders to defeat it. Level up. But now, you can also trap bad guys and play as them. Provided you have the correct trap with the appropriate element. No one takes my soda. Of course, so just basically go to Target and have a credit card ready because there's lots of clever new Skylanders to collect, and now you'll need traps as well. No Robocop does not work in Skylanders, and I can't believe it. Come on! Dude, Robocop can do anything. Rock and roll. The Portal of Power returns, except this time it's a new model with Traptanium power. I think the developers do shots before they come up with ideas. Gulper trapped. The Gulper Trapped. That's right, the new Portal of Power talks to you with Cashtanium Techno- I mean Traptanium Technology. I'm curious to see how they top this. I have an idea. Edible Skylanders. Each time you use one, you eat it and have to buy another one. Dreamcatcher defeated. When you defeat the bosses or sub-bosses and trap them, if you don't have the correct trap, then you're, you're screwed. You have to throw them away. Your children will be in tears. Or buy a new trap with the correct element. Now this works with all of the previous Skylanders, at least all the ones I've tested it with, and that's quite a few by now. Come on, pick me, please! Let's play fast! So you have lots and lots of Skylanders to choose from, except you'll need the new Traptanium model, or Trap Masters, or whatever, to open much of what you'll need to do in this game. But if you've bought a lot of Skylanders over the years and leveled them up, good news, you can use them here. And for those who are not familiar, when you buy a Skylander figure, it saves your character data on the figure so you can bring it to your friend's place and use it there. Or you can even enjoy them across platforms. Armed and dang it's magic. Just don't get them wet. Or feed them after midnight. Skylanders of the tech element are stronger in this. The game is silly good fun, and if you don't like silly or fun, then stay far away from Skylanders. Also, stay away from it if you're strapped for cash. It's not an inexpensive game. It's, it's far easier if you have a whole fleet of Skylanders to play it, that's for sure. Hulk and Dog! Cruiser, Cruiser! Jumpy Mage! Chill Bill. But odds are your kids will love it. Because the highlight of Skylanders is the actual Skylanders, not the game. The games are all pretty much the same by now, it's the figures themselves that are pretty cool. But kids can easily jump into this one and play, you can play co-op with your kids or they can play against each other or with each other. And of course there's lots of things to collect and discover throughout Skylands. The production values are pretty good for this kind of game, it's colorful, the environments themselves look pretty neat. There's Chaos Challenges, a new Skystones Smash game, Arena Battles. We're watching the PlayStation 4 version, and of course, this is on pretty much everything else. 
So yes, it's more of the same, but if you like this series, then you should not be disappointed. Yeah. Is it the best Skylanders yet? You know, the trap thing is kind of neat. The speaker on the Portal of Power is actually cool, and the dialogue is pretty funny. They give you a nice incentive to run out and spend six or seven bucks on a new trap because you're, you're gonna want that new boss you've just captured, but you can't capture it unless you have the undead element trap. I mean, obviously. Personally, I'm looking forward to edible Skylanders. With indigestion tanium technology, I just came up with that. You like it? Activision, you can have it for free. Good sickle defeated. Oh. I've got an axe to grind with you! Good sickle trapped.